is a NitroHouse.com online production. This is the top flight giant Hellcat almost ready to fly. Powered by the Sato FG60 R30 radial gas engine. I've included a list of the additional hardware required to install the motor into the plane. I have also listed the materials used for the modifications I did to the cowling. The 60cc radial engine is a tight fit, but the cowling can be removed and reinstalled easily. The only required modifications of the cowling are cutting and opening the cow flaps to about 20 degrees, also cutting and filling the frame plate that the dummy engine attaches to, to direct the air over the cylinder cooling fins. I had to space the motor 57 millimeters away from the firewall. I used the Evolution 50 millimeter and 7 millimeter motor mount and spacer to do this. This wasn't required, but I did cut out the top half of the cowling for an access and inspection plate. You can also see here where I used 8 inch plywood to cut out angle brackets for the cow flaps I opened up, also the fiberglass I used to reinforce it. The front cowling frame plate was cut and modified to direct all the air through the cooling fins of the engine. Here you can see where I used 1 8 inch and 1 quarter inch ply as mounting tabs for the access cover plate. I used the Dubro part number 525 button head screws to hold the access plate on. I like using these screws for access plates and canopies because of the low profile heads. The Top Flight Hellcat comes with a one piece fiberglass cowling. Before cutting out the cowl flaps and the access panel, I'll lay down a piece of masking tape to help protect the finish. I then use an X-Acto saw blade to carefully follow along the panel lines. Just be careful approaching the edges and you should get a nice clean finish when you're done. Here's another look of the finished cowling with the open cow flaps and the baffling. With this setup, engine cylinder temperatures have been about 200 at idle and 230 at full throttle. Another modification I did under the cowling was to cut down the corners of the firewall for better airflow and then fiberglass over the top of it to get the strength back. With this engine, the Hellcat balances without the nose weights that come with the kit. This kit was built as a weekly flyer. With the stock monocoque covering and the kit wheels, this plane came out just a hair over 23 pounds. The finish was achieved by first wet sanding the monocoque, applying custom Cali graphics, then weathering the entire plane with enamel paints. It may not win a Top Gun competition, but it looks great from 30 feet away and it sounds great in the air. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out some of my other videos on modeling tips.